Hey guys, so today is going to be a Dollar Tree haul and I'm doing this very nonchalant in my kitchen. I'm standing up. I have you guys propped up in a cupboard. I am cooking something in the toaster oven so you can probably hear the ticking. I was going to do this in the car, but Autumn was not asleep in the car, so I didn't want her to be screaming in the background. So I thought I would go ahead and do it when I got home. So I went into Dollar Tree for one thing. And of course I came out with a bunch of stuff. So I thought I would share it with you guys because right now Dollar Tree has so many cool things for the holidays for $1 that I wanted you guys to be able to check some of it out if you want to before the holidays are over. So the thing that I actually went into Dollar Tree for were these buckets. And um, you get two of these for a dollar. I don't know how big they are, but if I had to guess, I'd say a quart. Or so it comes with two like I said they had these two prints and this print so this one says Merry Christmas and it has a snowman on it um, this one says Merry Christmas and it has penguins Whoop. and uh, obviously it's white and then this one has Santa and um, a reindeer and I bought six of them because I am making reindeer chow which I have a similar recipe on my vlog channel that I will link down below uh, for you guys if you're interested. It's not exactly the same as what I'm making to go in there, but it's similar. So I will link that, like I said. And then this year, I'm actually hosting Christmas at my house. Um, Amadeus and I are. We've never hosted Christmas before. It's always been at my grandma's house. And I think that's just because we grew up like that. I mean, we just, my grandparents have a chimney in their house and we always knew Santa came down the chimney, so we celebrated over there. Um, as my grandpa passed away, he's been gone almost nine years now. We've kind of changed things up a bit. And now since my family is like half of our family, I have five people in my family, there's like 12 of us total. I make up half of the whole family. Um, it's just easier for me not to have to haul everyone over there. So this is the first year that we're hosting Christmas and I'm really excited about it. So when I was at Dollar Tree, I found some things. We always do paper products for Christmas and for Thanksgiving, like we never use fine china or anything like that. So I thought these things were super cute. They were only a dollar for 18 plates. So I picked up the snowman print and the Santa and reindeer. So 36 plates is plenty for everyone to have seconds and maybe even thirds. And um, we could easily put foil and people could take leftovers and stuff home. So I picked up those. I also picked up the matching cups. Now these are small. They look like they'd be about eight ounce, nine ounces. Um, so I don't you know, necessarily think people are gonna just be drinking from this, but I think it's a good start. If I was thinking about making like a Christmas punch or something, so I think that's that. Or if you're an eggnog family or, I mean, if you're drinking beer, probably not in these, but you know, just anyway, I picked them up because I thought they were cute. And then lastly, I picked up the matching napkins. So this one has Santa and the reindeer. And then this one is a snowman. So you can see I stuck with the snowman and Santa reindeer theme. Again, just matching so that this is what we could use for Christmas. I thought it was cute. We were gonna use disposable anyway. Might as well use something cute and inexpensive. Um, also, I picked up along the lines of like having Christmas here and spending it here. They had these really cute candy dishes. So my grandma bakes goodies for Christmas every year and for the holidays in general. She does fudge, all kinds of fudge, cookies, all kinds of cookies, chocolate covered pretzels and things, banana bread, fruit cake. I mean, she just bakes a whole bunch of stuff. So I thought this would be really cute to kind of set out some of her goodies or I don't know, dips or candy, like just spread out M&Ms or something. So I picked up two of those and then I also picked up two larger serving platters. And again, everything was from Dollar Tree, so it was a dollar. Two larger serving platters. And again, I went with Santa and the snowman theme. And I thought this would be super cute to, again, pile on cookies or put like a bowl in the center with my dip, my holiday dip that I make, which I actually make for every party that we've ever gone to. I will also have that link down below. It is um, Cilantro Ranch, couldn't think of the name of it. Could put that in the middle with the chips around it. Um, we're also having ham for Thanksgiving. You could chop up ham and put it on here. So I just thought this was super cute for whatever we decide to put on it. And I think that's all I picked up as far as like holiday 
food items. I did pick up this set and I kind of feel like I have some cookie cutters, some holiday cookie cutters, but this one comes with a snowman, a bell, um, a star, a gingerbread, a stocking, and a candy cane for a dollar. And I saw this recipe on Facebook for icing and um, sugar cookies. So I was thinking about trying to make sugar cookies as my like holiday treat this year and make my own icing. I've never done that before and let the girls decorate it. So I picked these up so we could do that. And then I also, the rest of the stuff I pretty much picked up for the girls. And these had a little like holiday Christmas party at school and we were told to bring a stocking. So I picked this one up for her. Um, I'm gonna let her decorate it with her name on it. It's just got a snowman. I thought this one was the cutest out of all of them and for a dollar you can't beat that and then we were also told to bring in um, just like a pack of something that was under 10 cents per child of like I don't know pencils or whatever well I thought these erasers were super cool she didn't get anything like this last year last year we did like blocks with each of the kids uh, initials on it but this one has um, like the erasers that actually go on top of the pencil and it has little Christmas trees snowman um, reindeer Santa hats so I just thought that was really really cute and 18 is what I needed and it was a dollar so picked that up for her school and then I also picked up these two things for the girls to wear to their holiday parties again a dollar super cute I kind of I feel like we have one that has lights like you press it in the antlers light up but I have no idea where it is so I just got these for the girls in case they damage them or you know whatever they they each have holiday parties on the 16th and um, so yeah I bought those for them I also bought a coffee mug for me I have coffee like holiday actual mugs but I picked up this tumbler because I thought the print was super cute just has a bunch of snowmen and um, penguins and it has the little thing so it's not too hot and it seems like it holds yeah 16 ounces so two cups and this is perfect amount of coffee oh and it oh, twists off yes I was thinking it popped off so that's awesome I really liked this and for a dollar I couldn't beat it so that and then over on my um entertainment center I have two wicker baskets that we left there from our regular decorations and I thought because it houses like remotes and batteries and different things and game system console controllers and so I figured instead of taking it out I would um, just decorate it so I bought two of these glitter bows that have twist ties on the back of them they're super pretty they have a little bit of garland a little like poinsettia and um, an apple of some sort like a glitter apple so I thought these were really cute to just kind of put on the front of the wicker baskets to dress it up and be able to leave them there then this is what prompted me to buy like the holiday stuff so we have a train set same thing we have like a village on I will do a whole tour of my Christmas decorations and whatnot so I have a village over there of um just like village houses and stuff and the train set kind of just like a faux train set sitting in front and the girls want to play with it so much and I don't let them because it doesn't move it doesn't work right on the snow so I got them these they were only a dollar so I don't know how well they'll work but it has like four little train tracks so you can put it in a circle and a little train and it's a wind-up train so it doesn't take batteries or anything you wind it up and it goes around I will let you guys know how these turn out but for only a dollar I thought the girls would be super Super excited to play with these this would be like a great stocking stuffer um, my grandma does their stockings so I won't be giving it to them for their stockings but this would be a really cute stocking stuffer for a little one let's see I have yeah just two more things so I also saw these now we are not in the realm of like chapter books or anything with Emmy quite yet although she's getting there she's a very excelled reader and I feel like what I have been giving her is not good enough she needs something a little bit more so when I saw these I was just so excited it doesn't have an age on them so I don't know where it would like start but they had a Christmas Carol and the night before Christmas and other holiday tales book and they are I don't know they seem like there's about 200 pages in them and there's a bun a bunch of um, other stories in here and lyrics to songs and like Christmas carols in the back. And then like I said, um, there's poems in here, there's 
uh, other stories and then there's an actual like Christmas the Christmas Carol the night before Christmas Carol and um, I just am thinking like with the size of the words and the actual words themselves I think she'll be able to read the majority of it so I'm excited to give this to her and for only a dollar you really can't beat it same thing with the Christmas Carol this is actually a chapter book and it does have about 200 pages as well and it does have <clears throat> larger words like I said so I do think she'd be able to read this so if your child is about seven eight and they're a pretty good reader I think this is something cute she's never read really any like true Christmas stories we have a Christmas Bible that she's read but nothing like this so anyway that was my Christmas haul from Dollar Tree. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. They had some super neat stuff and more things that I wanted to pick up. But as I said, I went for these and came back with all of this story of my life, right? What are you gonna do? So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.